steady. Well, we'll be continuing our focus on security. Well, you may have been hearing one or two things, but uh, we're joined on the phone today by Major General Chris Tolukoladi, who is the Director of Defense Information. Morning, and thank you for joining us today. Uh, the news making the rounds about uh, Nigerian soldiers who are reported to uh, have been found uh, in Cameroon, but we understand that they are back in the country now. What can you tell us about what actually happened? Well, uh, as you observed, indeed the soldiers are back in Nigeria. Nice. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead, please. Well, uh, as you observed, the soldiers are actually back in Nigeria and uh, they have rejoined their unit. Uh, but as to what actually happened, uh, as we explained earlier, the heat of the battle and the, the series of uh, activities that accompanied the operations, the soldiers found themselves in Sierra Leone and, and sorry, in Cameroon, being uh, our allies in this battle against terrorists. And as usual, they were received. And in line with the protocols, they have to submit their weapons. But at the moment, as they are back in the country, they are back intact with all their weapons, all their equipment, and uh, normalcy is on. They are deployed in other formations, and they are continuing with their operations. Well, that incident was preceded by some... Uh images that was obtained, uh, uh, sent to AFP, which was being publicized about uh, the sex declaring that they, they declared a uh, caliphate in Gwoza. Uh, you earlier spoke about that, but there are those who are still asking about whether or not that picture or those images were actually true. We cannot dispute those pictures. Uh, they are typical of the activities that are ongoing in that area. And the only thing I want to correct is that they are not related with the movement of those soldiers. The soldiers were not fleeing as, as has been uh, recorded or reported. But those features, uh, as we explained, we are definitely working to reverse all those tendencies. We are not conceding any portion of this country to a group of terrorists. and. The required operations to revert that uh, nonsense is, is ongoing, and uh, be sure in a short while we will reassert the sovereignty of a country over every portion that uh, has been violated illegally um, with some uh, irresponsible pronouncement. So, what is the current situation with Gaza now? Well, I will not give you details, but the much I can say is that. We're working to ensure that not just Goza as a town, its surrounding and other portions that terrorists seem to be moving around is uh, secured, and that we're sure will accomplish in a short while. We do know that uh, the the government did ask for monies for equipment. I mean, they applied to the National Assembly to get a loan uh, for to to enable them to equip the Nigerian army. What can you tell us about that? Well, the, 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 the policy for it is not the issue, but the, the requirement that has been endorsed by the political authorities, and that is well known everywhere, that uh, our equipment is being upgraded to meet the challenges of the moment, and uh, that is the most that is of interest to us. And on a regular basis, we require, and uh, we are, we're sure we'll get uh, the upgrading that is required to conduct this operation properly. That's the more that is of interest to us. Uh, we believe that uh, we are encouraged by the fact that the political authorities and the Nigerians have appreciated the need for the military to be uh, duly equipped to, to handle this operation. How soon do you think that th this equipment will get to you? We're expecting them. We're already even having some at the moment. And uh, the important thing is for us to upgrade our response. And uh, the details of when it will arrive is, is perhaps not uh, necessary for me to sit here. Uh, General, I just want to ask, what's the state of the morale of the, of the 
military right now? Well, uh, aside from all the something that we are getting in the media, uh, generally we understand the situation. The important thing, the morale of every soldier is the training and what is available for him to conduct his operation. We are improving on this regularly. All we just ask is for understanding from Nigerians. Most of the pronouncements tend to be very depressing and discouraging of the morale, but the leadership is doing everything possible to encourage the men to continue with the battle. And in a short while, like I stated earlier, the mission is to ensure that we secure our country regardless of the situation. We uh, require and expect understanding and encouragement from Nigerians and our allies. And the much of it we get, we believe that the morale will continue to, to improve. What, what can you tell us about international cooperation? Are you getting help from outside? Well, at the moment, it's, it's improving. And... Um, the most important thing is the understanding we enjoy, both from our allies in the neighborhood and as well as those uh, who have come from other countries to assist us. In many instances, we are exchanging ideas, we are exchanging uh, intelligence, and the much of cooperation that we require, we continue to get and we believe it will keep improving for as much as our situation is understood. That meeting uh, that was held uh, when the president attended and the French president also attended, is it yielding fruits operationally now, from your perspective? Well, uh, at least in relation to our cooperation with the neighborhood, I mean the countries in the neighborhood, who have been operating with us even before that uh, conference at the multinational joint task force, uh, it has been enhanced. And uh, we're having patrols that uh, make us interact together. Uh, some of these patrols allow us to operate and uh, exchange idea and various elements of containing terrorism in the neighborhood. You know, at, at that time, it was uh, the cry, the call was loud in the media about getting the support of Cameroon before that meeting held. Uh, hence, why they need to enhance the functions or operations of the multinational joint task force. Has there been any improvement ever since? Yeah, there have been in the sense that the various elements of patrol have been enhanced in terms of uh, equipping, even, even from the point of Nigeria, will enhance the ability of our men to participate in the uh, joint patrols uh, to contain the various movement of terrorists, in particularly the chat basin area. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, uh, capture of some of these terrorists recently, and their operations have been uh, largely contained in that area. We have more boats to patrol the, the lake, and we are having more joint operations with the troops from Chad, from Niger, and even Cameroon, and uh, the troops are engaged in both land and uh, water patrols together in that area. Uh, the, uh, m more of the countries have increased their mobility as well as the troops involved in the patrols. 